to spend the night with the woman of my dreams. Things are getting good. Where'd you meet? I used to be married to her. Don't see it as an ending. Who are you going to contact this woman? We arranged to meet two weeks from now. She's never going to show. I really just don't want to give you the wrong idea. I, just, I don't just... understand. Why did you kiss me? There's a way. You know you have feelings for me. You're my best friend. Just curious to know uh, if you like your character, have an experience that you can actually feel the presence of somebody that is gone through an object or through, you know, a car. Not through a car, but um, my mum died this year and I have, um, I have a lot of really beautiful memories that are objects of hers and it's, I could never let them go. So I, I struggled with the concept of this woman having to get rid of this car. I was angry with the husband for saying that she needed to get rid of it um, because they become, they become the object of your love when the person that you love is gone. I love you. I miss you. Season two, I think it's really clear, but in particular in your episode, do you think that uh, it's one of the things that it's really hard. It's to show the vulnerability to the people that we love, even if we are romantically engaged with them or like it's family. So what do you think about this aspect? These are really yeah, good questions. Really good questions. Um, okay. it's, I mean, that's what it's all. I mean, so much of life is about that. I mean, that to be human and to show your vulnerability. And it's just, that's, it's what, it's extraordinary to watch someone do that and be witness to it. And also it's feels a very, brilliant thing to be able to do yourself. I mean, so they feel like, I mean, one hopes that you can, that, that, you, that you feel brave enough. And I suppose when you see, when they, you see them do it at the Olympics, you know, it feels, it, it gives license to other people to be, to be able to sort of say, actually, I'm not okay with this, or I can't quite cope with this right now. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't have to be a superhuman, you know. Thank goodness, what a relief for us all. We don't have to be, don't have to be superhuman. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm definitely not superhuman. Um, I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess the one of the ways that you get to know someone and you get close to someone is through seeing their vulnerabilities and them trusting you and showing you that. Uh, in a way, that's probably one of the fundamental things about how to get close and yeah. love someone. And, you know, so... Um, yeah, so uh, I think the, uh, hopefully the vulnerability and the sort of tenderness that's in the episode, that, feel, that felt like a really necessary ingredient to tell that story, obviously because of what Sophie's character goes through, but um, you get a sense that he has had to go through a journey in order to be, uh, uh, for her to meet a slightly different person than she remembered in a way. And so that, that journey Part of that journey is him, I think, becoming a little more porous and a little more, you know. So you could really see that in the scene. And I haven't watched it because I don't like to watch myself, even though I'd be intrigued to see the episode. But I haven't watched the episode, but I can remember the filming of it. And I remember in the scene when I'm taking the bandages off. And I, all I was really doing was just watching your face. And then I could, I could experience the experience by watching you. Yeah. Watch me, if that mm, makes sense. Yeah. So what I mean. And that felt, you know, very, that, that felt very powerful. I mean, some of the most mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, revealing stuff that um, uh, couples can go through, isn't it? It's, you know, significant illness. Um, and so we, I think it can either sort of bring you much closer or, or pull you apart. Then. 